Welcome to another edition of Attractwell Office Hours. I'm Coach Ashley. I am joined today by founder of Attractwell, Greg Kilwine. Hey, Greg. Hello, everyone. We're really glad we were able to make it today. <laughs> <laughs> glad we're able to make it. I can hear you. You're here and not grainy. And uh, both of our computers are probably over five years old, which makes them geriatric. And <laughs> 2024 <laughs> is going to be the year that Apple gets a ton of money from us. So anyway, how are you guys doing on tech here in the crowd? <laughs> Hopefully you don't have to process tons of video or do a whole lot of software, uh, you know, whatever you would call the hoop jumping that you do with the coding, Greg. <laughs> Needs a lot of horsepower in a computer to get that done, right? So <laughs> welcome, you guys. We're excited to have you here today. And uh, that we are coming in with tech snags uh, means it's only appropriate that today we're talking about tech, specifically migrating your tech to attract well. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about migrating your website from wherever in the world it might be over to your Attractwell system. Because with Attractwell, you can create your courses, you can sell your coaching packages, uh, you can sell services, you can have an online store with physical or digital products, uh, but you could also have your website, your contact manager, how you reach out and connect to people. We replace at least 14 pieces of software, and that's probably the highest level for most people getting started. Uh, and of course, there's many, many more. So we're thrilled to have you here today. And we're going to be focusing on a feature in Attract 12 called the Page Builder. Now, um, I do have some housekeeping slides that I uh, want to go through, uh, just in case anyone is watching this uh, in the future or now, uh, and this is your first time here. I want to make sure that you, you know what we got going on. So Greg and I are going to pop out a video, and then I'm going to uh, share some slides with you. Also going to make Greg co-host because he's going to share something really cool and exciting here in uh, in just a couple minutes. So welcome. As you're coming in, head into the chat. Let us know. What are you working on this week? Are you working on migrating your website? Or are you working on something else entirely? So today, again, as promised, we are talking about how to migrate to attract well your website. So today, uh, we are first going to hear from Greg. Uh, about our brand new, exciting, built-in page templates. If you are looking to create new pages for your website and you would like a design, a design shortcut, we've got you covered. Uh, there are some awesome new templates available for you that Greg's going to share. We're going to talk about what it means to migrate to attract well, some best practices, a workflow to get it done, and then we'll actually do a live demo of actually getting it done. So uh, we also, as always on these calls, we're live every Thursday at 2 p.m. U.S. Eastern time. We have live help and Q&A. So if you came here looking for help, uh, definitely add your questions to the Q&A. If you are watching this on Facebook or as a replay, you can go to attractwell.com slash office hours so that you have access to this live Zoom call. It's free. You can also Reserve a time if you are an Attractwell user and you would like to get some feedback or review of the work that you're working on. If you'd like some hands-on help, if you're trying to get a thing done and it's just not quite doing what you want it to do, you can sign up and have dedicated space on a call like this one. And if you are just done and you would like for somebody else to do all of it for you, we've got, we've got you covered there too. That's attractwell.com slash concierge. They can design for you, build for you, VA for you, all kinds of amazing stuff. So make sure you check them out. So let me know, are you in the process of or ready to migrate your website? Looks like Tammy is migrating from WordPress. Alicia is migrating from Kajabi. Awesome. So you guys are, are moving over from different platforms. Those are both quite different uh, in how they're set up. Uh, but no matter, we are going to build one way here. And it's actually pretty simple and straightforward. We got others coming from Wix here. I see as well. Hi, Brandon. Awesome. Um, Janice asks, uh, migrating, does that work if I'm moving a collection or does it have to be done not in a block, but in individual pieces? Uh, so because, and, and I, th this is definitely something Janice is coming from Square. Everybody's coming from a different place this week. So um, the workflow is going to be the same for everybody, uh, no matter where you're coming from. And the unfortunate, uh, excuse me, the unfortunate truth is, is that um, softwares, uh, proprietary softwares, such as ours or Squares or Wix or Kajabi or WordPress or wherever, um, these uh, these platforms, they have their own code, right? Um, which is in effect their own language, right? And so um, 
there are some pieces of universality, like, so think like shared words, uh, you know, with shared meanings across different languages, but ultimately it's a translation project. And if you know, if you're multilingual at all, you know that if you are translating the meaning of a sentence or a paragraph in Spanish, for instance, to English, the um, it's not going to be a word for word swap, right? So the first word is not gonna be the exact same as the first word if we're, if we're translating meaning, right? Uh, so it does take just a little bit more. It's not a copy paste job. It's not like pop it into Google Translate and it spits out a, a website on a track well. But the good news is, is that it is simple if you follow the formula, right? So, um, and, and probably simpler than you might have let yourself believe. So um, before we get into our best practices, uh, I want to show you that if you are starting over from scratch, or actually Greg is going to show you, if you're able to, Greg. Uh, Greg's gonna show you how if you are starting from scratch for any of the pages that you plan to use on your website, uh, there are some exciting new tools that you can use uh, to shorten um, that design gap. So Greg, is that something that you're able to pull up? Uh, let's give it a whirl. As long as you can still, <laughs> make, still hear me. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, let me pull this up. <clears throat> awesome. Okay. So there we go. There's my screen. Okay. So uh, Ashley mentioned the page templates. If you've, uh, if you're in our Facebook group, you've probably seen the post along with some screenshots of portions of the templates that were, you know, so large, didn't post the whole thing in there, but, um, you can see them if you go over to pages under the website and blog menu, click on pages, and then just click add. Uh, yes, yeah, before all the other templates are still there, you'll also notice some gray templates. So there's a number of pages built around this gray theme that are uh, related to each other and can help form a cohesive website. And um, we've already got some awesome ideas from the Facebook group. Uh, there's a thread started for there. If you have other ideas, we'd love to love to hear them. Uh, but yeah, so there's an about page, we've got a contract page, uh, terms and conditions, home page, link in bio, uh, services, products, and a simple landing page. And then there's also one that's a different theme, it's sort of a bluish theme, this one called the waitlist page, which is if you have something that you're just uh, haven't quite launched it, and you want to build a waitlist and show a few benefits of whatever it is that you're uh, reselling or, or building a waitlist for, uh, this would be the perfect template to use. And you can, of course, customize the colors and everything, too. You don't have to stay with the blue. So uh, let me show you a couple of these templates. There's a lot to each of them. So I'm not going to walk through all of them. It would take a long time, but you can go ahead and uh, look at them yourselves at some point, log into the your account and hit add on the page builder and see, uh, and then click on each one of these and see what comes up. So I'm going to start with the home page here, probably a common one that people will need when you're, when you're migrating. Uh, everything is set up here. We've got image sizes on these so you know you kind of know what you do and you don't have to it's not rigid you don't absolutely have to have the exact pixel size but uh, you can try your own if this is a headshot of you for something for example you could always try what you have and see if it works and how it looks uh, but we have it set up so you can just click around to these different sections and sort of fill in the blanks essentially and uh, sort of like Mad Libs for websites, <laughs> fill them out, replace them. You can see here, they, these are identified as a mobile version versus the desktop version, which you can always see with these little icons, which ones are activated. Uh, and a guy, this one goes through a pretty common page layout for a homepage. And in the cases here, these are actually Canva graphics. Um, if you go to the very bottom, there is a hidden section here, which you can see because it's all red and all the devices are marked up, that links off to the Canva templates for each of these. So what you have to do is just click on here and then click on whatever link template you want to claim and then or start with and then hit that button and then it will open it up and you can use that template and then download it and um, get it in your, you know, replace the image here, um, for example, because I think that's what these templates are for is for like right here. So you can just click and replace <clears throat> and then um, you know yeah, upload or add from Canva, something like that. So got options there. Uh, let me show you another page template. Uh, let me click add another, um, you know, so we've got some short ones, whether, you know, it's a link in bio page, if you're sharing on, if you've got a social page where you want to drive everyone there, a simple landing page, this is a nice little one. Um, you know, you can see the actual form when you go to form or when you go to preview. <clears throat> um, you probably want to turn off the page footer, but but yeah, so these are, um, and the other one I want to show you quick here is, let me go back one more, 
Uh, there is a sales page. This is a really, it's kind of a long form sales page. And with that, uh, again, kind of, you know, you can fill out the different sections and replace them with whatever you're doing. There's a little hint here. Um, you can use the AI writer. If you haven't seen that, there's a nice little tool that pops up and you can, you know, regenerate copywriting. So you don't have to come up with all the words yourself on your own. Uh, but then, yeah, down here, we've got title of the program, got pain points. It sort of walks you through a template of what a sales page should be. Uh, and then, you know, you'll have a sales page when you're done with this. And if you don't need all these sections, you can just hide them. If you, you know, save them for later, just turn off all these, it'll go red like this. <clears throat> and then you can save it uh, for a different time, or maybe, you know, maybe not. Maybe that's all you would need is that one um, or a portion of this. So this is a very long uh, page with testimonials and payment plans and FAQs and, and all this other uh, great layout here. So again, there's a, a lot of other pages here that you can browse, but we're excited to add these. Uh, if you have any other ideas, certainly email support or uh, pop into Facebook um, in the group and find that thread and then you know, let us know. Uh, but yeah, these all kind of came out of feedback that we've received. We're hoping to have more of these in the future. Just uh, this is a, a first batch that we have here. So awesome. Back to you. Yeah. Actually. Thank you. Uh, Selena had asked, uh, what, where was the sales page option? So Selena, when you go to create a new page, uh, you're going to see an option to select an existing template. And that's where you're going to find that sales page uh, template. Okay. Yeah, it's, when you click oh, add, it's you, down, you scroll down a little bit and it's right here. Uh, and that'll walk you through everything that you need to just sort of fill in the blanks. Perfect. All right, so let's get into this, you guys. We are going to migrate to Attract Well. So <clears throat> remembering that this is actually more simple than you think, let's get into our best practices. First, um, if you have your website somewhere else, chances are you have a custom domain attached to it. So it's yourname.com, yourbusinessname.com etc. Now, understanding that, um, you know, your website might not be the first thing that you migrate. And actually, in most cases, if you've got a functioning business that you're moving over from somewhere else, your website might be one of the last things that you migrate. It really just kind of depends on the current needs of your business while you're working on migrating. But all of that said, migration can sometimes take a little bit of time. And so what we recommend that you do is uh, if you're in that, that situation where you don't want to disrupt the flow of people going to the existing website while you work on this replicated version, <clears throat> create a subdomain, right? So let's just say, for instance, you are on Kajabi right now and you have a course and you have a website on Kajabi. Now you have already um, moved your, um, your course from Kajabi over to Attract Well, and the people that you are currently serving who have already bought your course, you're gonna migrate them before you even have a website, for instance. And this is just, a, I'm not saying everyone has to do this, it's just an example. You're gonna migrate everybody who's already paid over to Attract Well so that they can be the ones that kick off the new experience in the vault that you've created in Attract Well, right? Take care of the people that have already paid first, right? <laughs> so, um, so we're going to do that, right? But maybe you don't want to totally shut things down over at Kajabi yet because, well, your website is there and you've got links to your website on all your social media and on your podcast episodes and all this kind of stuff, right? So, but you don't want to send your existing clients to your Attractwell site where the vault is to, you know, attractwell.com slash your name. What we recommend that you do for now is create a subdomain in this instance and attach it to your Attractwell account. So you have yourwebsite.com and this would be courses.yourwebsite.com would be maybe what you connect to Attractwell in the meantime, right? Or you could, again, vice versa. Uh, you could, um, if you've set up your website on Attractwell, you want to migrate that over here first, but you still have your courses on another platform and you want to continue serving people well and not getting them lost in the meantime, utilize subdomains. So you would have courses maybe on your Kajabi until you get rid of it. Uh, and then you would have uh, your website and just your main domain on Attractwell. So Remember that that is an option that can be very helpful for your people because uh, it's uh, not departing from your brand. All right, uh, first, uh, first step ultimately with best practices is to make sure that we know what we want to bring over, right? So you don't want to put yourself through a ton of hassle and a lot of work to create something on Attractwell 
that you really didn't necessarily love or want on your previous website, right? So make sure that you're clear first. So give yourself sort of a little bit of an audit exercise on your existing platforms, whether it be Square or Wix or WordPress or Kajabi or wherever you are. Um, ask yourself, are these the pages that I need? Is this what I want to keep? Is this working for me, right? Before you come and try to recreate it. Then all of the images that you plan to use, make sure that you download those from whatever platform you are currently using. And I want you to download them uh, and then upload them to Canva. The reason why you wanna get your, your images into Canva is because you're going to want to potentially reuse them in different ways, modify their resolution, maybe add other stuff to the photo, et cetera. It's going to be more useful for you, big picture, uh, to have those images in Canva because then you can bring them straight into AttractWell um, or again, you could morph them into something else entirely. Now, if you are shutting down the old site before you complete migration, make sure that you grab screenshots so that you know how it looked, how it behaved, um, so that you have a clear picture of what you're trying to recreate. And we really are talking about a strict recreation today. It looks like this here. Let's make it look as much like that over here on Attractwell. Also, you want to make sure you know where your calls to action and the links that you're using are going to before you start designing. So every page has a purpose. That purpose is to collect a lead with a form, take payment with a form, or to have them click a link and go somewhere. What is that link? Where are we sending them? What is the purpose of this page? Right. So know uh, what that information is again before you start designing. Then you want to try, if you can, it's going to make your life a lot easier to set your fonts and colors up in AttractWell first, according to your brand palette. This is a simple thing that you can do. We have a help article that's great that shows you how to do it. And then if you don't have one yet in Canva uh, or just as a PDF or somewhere that you have access to, consider creating a brand guideline or a brand kit. A uh, brand kit is a feature in Canva. It's like a virtual brand guideline. Uh, and that's essentially where you collect the palettes, the logo, uh, and the fonts that you'll be using on your website, but also in your published materials, in your content, and so forth. And then finally, this is a design best practice. Replicate your site first for functionality, right? So get it over and make sure that it says everything and that it has everything and that it is doing the thing that it was doing before and then plan to make it better, right? So it's it's one thing to move stuff over so that it's you've moved from one place to another. It's another thing entirely to remake something, right? So if you had a canvas, you're moving from one apartment to another, um, you would like to add to that canvas and make it look different. The time to do it is not when you're packing up and moving, right? Put it on the wall in the new place and then ask yourself, what do I wanna do differently to it, right? So let's get everything over and then you can get into uh, making things better. Now the migration workflow, this is an important thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you follow, right? First step, get all your information, right? Get all the images that you want to use, put them in Canva and make sure that those brand colors and fonts are set up in AttractWell. Download or open your brand kit. So if that's a PDF or if it's a, um, a window that's open to your brand kit in Canva, have that available and then have a tab or um, if you're, you know, if, if you've got the benefit, like I do, of working with a gigantic screen, have an, an additional window um, that is viewable side by side, potentially, um, that has your existing page. So that way you can be looking at one while you are designing the other. Then we're going to create a new blank page in AttractWell. We are going to use section templates to replicate the structure of your existing page. I'll show you what this means in a moment. Then we'll edit the content to reflect uh, your existing page design. And then we'll edit the elements and the sections to dial in the page features and make it look as much like the original as you possibly can. And you can get very, very, very close, obviously knowing that fundamentally the DNA is just slightly different between these different software platforms. So it might not be a 100% replica, but it does translate. It does make sense and you can make it really great. And then finally, once you've got it done to your liking, make sure you save, save often, uh, and then view your work. So let's get into this, you guys. Let's uh, go take a look at what we are going to work on today. So I want to head over to first, um, let me see if we have 
Sorry about that. Okay, let me get out of Zoom is being just the technology today. It's a whole thing. Is is, Mer is Mercury in retrograde? What is going on? All right, Alicia, I've got you here. Uh, you were actually on last week, and you're in the process of migrating uh, from Kajabi over to Attractwell. Uh, so yeah. yeah, let's talk a little bit about uh, what we're working on. I know we had emailed briefly before. Um, yeah. So um, what would you like to work on? Yeah. So, um, I, my biggest thing right now is I'm kind of in crunch time right now. I'm, uh -huh. I'm doing my webinars to launch my course. My, my car opened on Tuesday and I'll be launching until next Friday. So I have another webinar on Monday and then I'm thinking about adding another webinar on Thursday of next week. So Right now, I'm split between Kajabi and Attractwell, where I have all of my new clients going to Attractwell. My webinar was through Attractwell, so I was able to capture all of my new leads from Attractwell. So I have 46 new people in Attractwell, and then um, I'm now this week going to be sending people to to Attractwell for my new webinar on Tuesday. Um, but I had to sell my course on Kajabi. So while I was doing the webinar, you know, I had the link to the sales page on Kajabi um, to accept the payments because I have my sales page there. Um, and I wasn't, I didn't have it set up in Attractwell yet. So what I would like to work on is setting up the sales page for my new course in Attractwell because Attractwell is the platform that the course will be on. So setting up the sales page, setting up the coupon that the webinar gives out, and then um, that's probably the main focus for today. Eventually, I'd like to bring over all my landing pages and stuff so that I can really like just drive everybody to Attractwell instead of Kajabi. Um, mm -hmm. But the sales page is, is the priority right now. And, and, and the sales page, yes. Okay. And it's terrible. I hate it. It's ugly. It does not entice me to want to buy that product. So I'm excited to work with you guys to um, make it look a lot better. Got you. Yeah. So, so today what we can do is, uh, is, is migrate for function, but what you want to plan on doing is actually um, going through the process. And we have a dedicated training for this to actually build out an entire like act design, like with the copy and everything, the entire sales page. And that, this one right here, it was actually um, the one that Greg was showing. So okay. um, this this would be a great starting point for that. And there's, I, I, we're not going to be able to get through the whole design of a, of a sales page together on a call like mm -hmm. this, because you really want to make sure that you've got the copy worked out. Uh, but yes. definitely, um, we have a sales page training uh, that you could watch, or you could simply just go through this and kind of follow um, the prompts that are more or less on this page and start collecting yeah, what that I'll just is. use this. I'll yeah. just use that template. That looks great. But here's here's the thing. This isn't bad. Um, this is actually really similar to something that you could see uh, on a vault checkout page in Attractwell. Uh, and there are use cases for this. And obviously there's a bit more you could do. You could put a video here. You could, you know, add more stuff to this. But ultimately this is gonna function a little bit more like a checkout page than a sales page. So you would maybe be sending them from a sales page here, right? Where this is technically like, so it, it's, we're parsing words and uh, obviously depending on the platform and, you know, whoever's taught it or whatever, it's going to vary slightly. I look at something like this as a checkout page and a sales page is really where you're doing the selling, right? This is where you are collecting. You are collecting a sale here, but this is just really where they, they've already made the decision when they've come here, right? Oh. And we're re reiterating the information that they need. So if you did a webinar, you could send them right here and it works just fine, right? It's, it's actually working for you already, right? Mm -hmm. um, so this is perfectly functional. It's a good thing to set up. Um, so here's what we'll do. Um, you have a vault, uh, and, and I actually did not expect this, but we're going to show how to migrate in this, this kind of purpose. So you have a vault, uh, that's already set up and that's right here. And this is what you're, this is what you're selling, right? Yes. Here, let me, sorry. I'm following on my uh, computer and I'm watching you on my phone. So I just have to pull that up. So let's, is this in the member area? That's uh, right. Yep. Member yes. area. And I've okay. gone to the tab here that says payment setup. Right. And I have checked to require payment 
or subscription to access the vault. You've got okay. Stripe. You've got Stripe attached. So we can actually go ahead and this is where we'll, we'll set up your coupon here as well. The price of this is two forty nine. dollars it looks like. So mm -hmm. um, this is, uh, we're going to call this, um, is this a course? Yes. All right. So we'll just call this course access. You can, you can obviously change this if you want to. So this is going to be one payment and that's two forty nine, dollars And mm -hmm. uh, no coupon code required here. And we are going to tag them uh, with, uh, let me see, that's a solid in the saddle course. Um, yeah, that one can be um, tagged ride confident. Uh, okay. All one word or two? Two. That way okay. I can tell them apart. Perfect. So ride confident will just be the basic, like anybody who um, they're going to get tagged with ride, with ride confident. Uh, now, if you were to offer a um, a coupon, what is uh, what's the price for the what, what are they paying? They're paying. I think it's one ninety nine twenty. Um, it's it's twenty percent off. Okay. All right. So this would be one ninety nine twenty, um, and then this is going to be um, twenty percent off. Is the plan name? Mm -hmm. And what do you want the coupon code to be? Webinar, all caps. Okay, webinar, all caps, perfect. Um, okay, so we'll do that, perfect. And so when we save this, everyone who's already in here is supposed to be in here and that's fine. Um, so then we can actually go and view the vault. Um, and here, let me... Let me let this finish updating. So the payment setup is done. But then the next thing that we want to do, this is the checkout page message. And that's where we're actually going to replicate what you have here. So we're going to save this image to downloads. And then I'm going to go and copy all of this. Okay. Just right off the page. I'll come over here and find that image that I just downloaded. We'll let that upload. And then underneath it, we will put that... Uh, we'll do a uh, paste plain text is, is the, the feature that we're going to use here. Uh, so we'll go underneath the image, go one down and we'll modify all of this and make it look a little nicer, but we're going to go to this more text feature and then paste plain text and then pop all of that text here. And we do need to reformat it, but because we've already done it once, we've got a pretty solid idea of how we want to have this look. So we know that this is going to be, um, like a paragraph heading format, mm -hmm. right? And obviously yep. this will change, um, you know, when you make modifications to your default fonts and everything in your system. Um, this is a, maybe like an H4 and then this, these, we've got some bold text here. So um, again, using the paragraph settings, you can make those modifications. I think this one, I think four would probably be better here. Yep. Um, this course will help you. And then these are bold all the way through confidence back. So this is just basically what we're doing. We're just confidence back. This is bold. It's not what I wanted to do. Here we go. Okay, there we go. And we'll make sure that all of it is bold. Okay, and then these were bullets. And so again, here, we're going to be consulting this uh, this list here, but I'm going to first select. And actually, let's double check this. Okay, yeah, that's just three bullets. So here, we just grab these. And this is just like modifying formatting in a word processor, right? So there's our three bullets. Okay. Yeah, and that's... And that is essentially it, right? And they're gonna send them to the vault after they're done. So we'll hit save. And obviously the text isn't exactly the same here. That is important to note. Um, if you wanna use the same fonts that you used in Kajabi, then you do wanna make sure that you are moving those fonts, migrating those, those default fonts over to Attractwell so that this works well for you. Um, I'm going to, because I know that this is going to be a, um, at least on desktop, uh, it's probably going to look a little bit better if if we 
modify it like this. It is going to wrap because it's a two column page. So mm -hmm. we'll just go ahead and hit save here. And um, I want to copy this link and then I need to really quickly sign out of your account uh, because I don't want to have to toggle between two different windows here. <laughs> um, because I want to be able to actually see the, um, oh, where did it go? Okay, just kidding. Hang on just a second. Let me hop out of share here. I knew I should have done that the way I know how to. Um, the, the thing is, is when you're logged in uh, to the system, it recognizes you. And so if you are trying to, to view your vault, it wants you to be able to actually like, you know, view the contents of the vault and not send you uh -huh. to the sales page as though you were somebody who didn't have permission to be there. So uh, here, let me go make sure that I've got this pulled up. And then um, here we go. I'm going to open a private uh, browsing window so that it doesn't know that it's me. And then we should be no, I think we have one more thing that we need to do. Greg, I might need your help with this. Um, yeah, did you okay. check that box to make it publicly available? That would be the one thing. If it goes to the login page, that's probably what's happening. Oh, By the way, I'm seeing your okay. whole screen. Well, the, perfect. All right. So the public, oh, allow anyone, this one? Yeah. With the link. Yes, yes. that's that's the one. We're seeing your whole screen, by the way. It is. Oh, that I'm was enjoying. not intentional. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. Um, all right, so I've got the link now and we have it set up correctly. And we can go to the private window now. And we should be good to go. So get, bear with me just a second and I'll get back into sharing. And that is, um, that didn't do it actually. Let me, let me try this one more time. Private window. I think I got it. I got it. Okay. So this is pretty close. Um, obviously a lot of this is going to be uh, modifiable, right? So for instance, like your vault settings, if you see here, um, you have um, like a color up top. Um, on your page on Kajabi, that's actually something that you can set up for your vault um, in a track well. Um, but again, it's very similar. You can put the same kind of information here as a perfectly fine place to send people. Uh, and then of course, if somebody puts in a webinar here, then they'll be able to get that pricing. Okay. Able... Awesome. Yeah. Wow, yeah. That was so... Great. Yeah, it's it, it. I mean, it is it is basic, right? It is simple, but it is functional, and that's the really the first order of business there. So mm -hmm. um, there was another. This is oh, this is a webinar replay. Um, is this something that you were wanting to replicate in Attract Well as well? So um, it, that's probably not as important to me as the um, as the like designing a sales page um so going through that um that one that you were talking about with the template um so i i kind of wasn't really thinking about a different sales page versus a checkout page but mm. i really like that idea um and so yeah i i guess that's probably the biggest thing right now is creating okay. a sales page um on attract well since I have to do one anyways. I'd rather just do it on Attractwell instead of yeah. do it on Kajabi and then migrate it over to Attractwell. Yeah, absolutely. So once you do have your copy ready and, and you're ready to actually create a new page, so creating that sales page, um, then you basically have two options. You can send them to that vault checkout page that we just created, right? Or you could actually take payment on the page itself. And that is something that we go over in, in the training about creating a new sales page uh, from scratch. So um, while we're here, since we are talking about migration today, how about we get this page done? Since okay. we have everything yes. we need, right? That, so um, yeah, so we did kind of go over like what the process would be when you were on the call last week with a question. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm going to start from scratch. And this is what, if you're migrating from another platform, this is what you want to do as well. You want to start from scratch. 
And you want to be mindful of a couple of things. Number one, um, what does this, um, what's what's the name of this page, right? And you actually have this written out here. That's going to be the title of the page. Um, if this is a page that has like a slash whatever about, et cetera, you want to be mindful of that. Uh, and those are things that you're going to actually set up in the settings, right? So I'm actually going to call this homepage. Um, that's going to be the internal name. And the link path, because this will eventually actually be your homepage, this doesn't really matter so much because it's going to become your homepage. But this one, um, we would need to title similarly to how you have it already. Okay. Right. And then Ashley, I was working on a um, a homepage that I actually liked better in a track Ooh. well okay. um, than my homepage in Kajabi. Um, yeah. Again, I, I don't like it. I, th I think it's kind of boring. Um, and so I don't know how to uh, share this with you, but I have it under there. I have it right now um, under pages and then sideways carrot add page solid in the saddle homepage. Is that does that show up on yours anywhere? So I oh, yes, you've been working on that. Absolutely. OK. Oh, OK, cool. yeah. OK. Yeah. Yeah. So I I want the information on there, but um, I I like this layout better than the Kajabi one. Got you. Got you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you're wanting to basically get the same information that you have here mm -hmm. over on this other page, right? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Got you. Yeah. So that's totally doable. And if you're wanting to start like to, to reimagine an, an entirely new design, if you're ready to paint on that canvas, you're moved into your new place, right. And you're ready to do that. Then it really is just a matter of identifying what copy you want, where and how you want it delivered. Right. So, um, so typically we would be, I mean, I don't know if these are actually things that you focus on, if, if you've modified these yet, but you know, you- I would, haven't, no. Right, right. So there's not going to be as, uh, like again, for, for the purpose of, of brevity on this call today, um, there's not like a, a, a like a super easy transition over, but what you can do that's like really simple is, you know, grab, and, and I'll actually show you an example of how you could do this. If you like- um, the design of a page on a track well better than like the one that you had previously. What mm -hmm. I still recommend is just go ahead and get everything over, right? Um, while mm -hmm. you are working on designing, because something like this is super functional and it works for now. And we also have this really cool feature called copy into page, right? And okay. so I'll, I'll show you an example here and we'll just start from scratch and just create a basic framework of migrating over just that existing page that you have. The first part here is a single column. The second one is a column with an image on the left and text on the right. And again, we're just gonna do a really simple like migrate in so that everything is here. And then I'll show you how you can actually take what's here, what you've imported and then seamlessly move it over to a brand new page design uh, if you if you choose to use it. So there's a two column section here. Um, there is text left image right. There we go. And then we've got a title with three columns. And again, we're just building our framework here using the page um, section templates. So there's a title with three columns. And then we've got some testimonial sections. We've got one, two, three, and then we've got a single column with our form on the bottom. So um, our testimonial sections, uh, we're alternating uh, and we can maybe do them like this, three of those. So I'll duplicate this one and then I'll actually duplicate it one more time and I'm gonna use the column editor just to switch sides so that they alternate. There we go. And then we'll have the one on the bottom. And so this basically, if we just get this out of the way, this allows you to send your website over to Attract Well. And it's your one step closer to being done with Kajabi, right? And then, you know, you can make all the improvements here that you could ever dream of. Um, but you've you've got, you know, something that is finished. It's not your favorite. It's not the final product. Um, but it is, it's something that is, that's super doable. So I'm going to add a background image that is actually from your existing website. I believe I was able to grab that. 
earlier today. Actually, I want to I want to modify that in Canva. So we're going to go to Canva and go to blog banner. I like blog Do you banner. Need my Canva um it login. Oh, that's that's okay. I mean, at this point, I can I can create these things and pop them in. And since it's not going to be something that you um, are necessarily going to use completely, I'm happy to send you any of the files if you do choose to use any of them. Um, okay. So um, I did before the call grab um, some of these photos. So for instance, this is the one that you have up here, and we see how it's kind of got this like nice dark color over it. Uh, so mm -hmm. I'm going to create that same effect uh, actually in Canvas. So I'm going to make this as the image background, and then I'm going to go grab a shape to put over top of it. Another thing that you could do is actually color the um, the background itself and then make the, the image translucent um, or change the transparency of it. But I'm going to, I'm going to use like a darker like a deeper, darker color here. And then we're going to modify that transparency. So it looks, you know, it's not exactly the same. It's actually quite a bit darker, isn't it? Here, let's, we'll change that just a bit more. Okay, that'll be a good for now. Um, here we go. So we've got that in here and that's going to be our background image for the top. And I'm going to copy this text. And that's going to become the text in the background of this section. So I'm going to position this at center. You can actually okay. see it kind of moved here. And then we're going to add some padding. And this top section, it is really important for it to have a fair amount of padding because we really want this to be everything or almost everything that somebody sees when they land on your website. Because it's really where they get to find out that they are in the right place. So I'm going to paste here, and I'm pretty sure you're using Railway on that page. Uh, we'll center it, and we will give it. Again, you'll want to make uh, modifications to your um, to your paragraph setting if you don't want to be all caps all the time. For instance, um, we'll put a button in here. We'll put a nice. What color are you using here? Are you using a teal one. Perfect. We have one of those. I'll use this one. I'm going to move it up one and then center it. And our copy says, I want to be pain free. And again, in your buttons, in your, your fonts and colors, when you set that up on your website, um, you can actually make this button round. Um, and it can be like a round button throughout your site if you want it that way. So I want to be pain free will be that. And then of course this needs to go somewhere. Um, we're not going to worry about that just yet. So here we need to change this to white. Okay, so relatively close. Obviously there's a little bit more kind of fine tuning that we can do here, uh, but you can see that it is gonna be pretty mobile responsive. Um, although you that might not necessarily be the best image to use <laughs> for mobile. Um, I'm not sure how well that one performs on Kajabi. So again, what we're doing here is taking that copy and putting it into these sections, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste plain text, everything here, and then I'm gonna put things where they need to go. Okay. Right, so here, go. Okay, so this again, we could go back and, and make some more modifications to that text. I think I have this image downloaded already. Let's go double check, I think I do. We can go grab it real quick if we don't. It is this one, there we go. And so the process really is this simple. You're just going section by section and you are adding those things in. So this is an image, right? And I've got this saved, uh, but then we've got, again, just more or less the exact same thing that you have. Once you have everything in here the way that you want it, um, then you can make those modifications. And I'll show you here in just a second, because I know your priority is you know, more you know, to start 
working on a new design. Uh, but it is, I find, often best to start with what you have um, instead of having to go back to a completely blank drawing board uh, to, to start building um, the thing that you want. So having, having something to work with, at least in this case, you've got your... Um, You've got your images uploaded um, and those are something that you can continue using. So um, this one, so you see how this is quite large compared to what's over here, right? Uh -huh. um, here, you're gonna wanna adjust the size of the image. And so okay. in this case, you can play around with the size or you could even, depending on what the original size is, you can go percentages as well. That's not good for this one where we could even try maybe like a 25%. And of course you can even drag like this if you want. Again, using the paragraph settings to provide sort of those differences in the font and how you like to have that set up. And if you're in a position like this one where we have two and we, we like the one that we've made and we don't want to reinvent the wheel, we can actually delete column two where there's nothing. And then we can replicate this one. And now we've got something better to go off of uh, when we bring this back over, right? It just makes it so much faster. So we go back to our content editor and like the page is halfway done <laughs> at this point, right? So I'm going to stop right now because you guys have seen, um, I'm going to go by link only here. So you don't have to share this with anybody. Um, but I want to show you how you can take, so let's just say for instance, this section here, right? This is going to be really valuable to you, um, even if you're creating a new design. So if you go back to your pages and there's the page that you're really liking, we have this copy in page feature. So it's um, it's really helpful to you know be able to bring in things that already exist. So for instance, um, I'm gonna go copy in another page just like this. And I'm gonna copy in home from Kajabi and it is gonna copy in the whole thing, but that's okay. I'm just gonna delete that one. Don't want it. I'm gonna delete that one. Don't want it either. Maybe I do want it and I want it somewhere else on the page. And now we've got our section right here, right? And so this way, because you did do the work, right? Like you've you've got work, you've got labor, fruits of labor on this page. Moving all of that over is going to make it easier for you to make more of it um, in your new design. And so that's, um, and the other thing too, and, and I think that this is, this is valuable. You're coming from Kajabi. They do know how to build good websites. And even if you aren't in love with the design of this, there are features that work really nicely. So like this one, for instance, that, had a delay in how it appeared. And so if you wanted to replicate that, then here, I'm gonna save this real quick and go back over to this other page. If we wanted to replicate that section uh, or the, the way that that one behaved, I'm actually gonna duplicate this one that we already did because the formatting works just fine. And there we go, it's in the right place. I'm gonna go back to that column editor because we are gonna be swapping and we need to swap out that image because it's a different one for this one, obviously, and the copy needs to be changed as well. But the other image that we need is this one here. And then again, you have the ability to make that same effect, that appearance effect when you're scrolling down. See, it delays after about a second, maybe two at the most. Uh, and so if we go into the, um, the element style editor and we click here, we can add a delay, right? So this would be a, a 0.1 second or a 0.2 second. Uh, and this would be, and you could really pick any of these. There are some, there are some wacky ones. Uh, I'll do a fade in up and we can take a look at what that looks like here. Right. And it comes in very similarily. So there is mm -hmm. there is a if, if you have a, a for everyone else who's watching, 
because obviously <laughs> we're not in love with this page. But if you do love the one that you have and you're trying to move it over, make sure that you follow along with those steps that you've seen here. Um, first, with um, creating the skeleton for the page so that you know, um, you know, when I get to this section here, I know that I need a title at the top and I need these three columns. And so because you can go in with the editor and plop these right in, you've got the formatting handled for you. And I think for any of us who are not um, page designers or graphic designers or web coders by trade, uh, having this stuff in place really does eliminate the majority of the struggle um, with getting design right. So let me see if we had any questions that came up here and then I wanna get back into page design with you. Um, okay, Janice asks, uh, migrating, does that work if I'm moving a collection? Oh no, you already added that. Um, does it have to be done? Yeah, so page by page, you would be migrating page by page. But like I was just showing here, if you migrate your page over, there are always, well, usually uh, with, with good design, uh, there's, there's usually going to be elements that are going to repeat, right? So like this section uh, that was migrated over from her Kajabi, this can be used on an about page. This can be popped into a sales page. Right. If we were to create these sections down here, and I would just use an image, um, and I've actually got that set up right here. So put um, like a, a tiny little quotation mark image here and another one here in the opposite direction. Right. And then you put the text in. These now become sections that you can copy into sales pages um, or anywhere else that you want them. Maybe you want one person's. Uh, testimonial, uh, or you want the whole block of them. So you do want to build the pages here, and then you'll be able to reuse those in interesting ways. Um, Janice asks how to show uh, show how to migrate products for a storefront. Um, that is going to be a separate dedicated training, Janice. And if you want to get in touch with me, I'm Ashley at attractwell.com. Um, I can kind of go over a strategy with you. And just as we have been doing with Alicia here today, um, we can maybe sit down and talk about how you migrate your products over to Attractwell um, using the store. So Alicia, let's talk um, page wise. Um, okay. you've, got, you've got a place to send your folks, right? So if they mm -hmm. go to um, that, and that's actually, let me show you where to find it. Um, the link that you're gonna wanna share uh, to collect sales in attract well if you wanted to um okay. it's going to be right over here under your payment setup it's this checkout page link right here okay and that's going to send them to that page that we saw that looked really similar to the one that's on your kajabi right where you've got the the picture and there's the information there's um the place to put in the money and the coupon code um so that's going to be the link that you share that you can um maybe from your webinar um you can be sharing that link uh or after the fact right but when you're ready, um, you could also, and I'm gonna copy this link right here, when you go to maybe create a sales page, and we'll just set up the beginnings of, of a sales page for you right here. So when somebody does decide to purchase, and I think you'll see in this one, yeah, this one is, is going down to the form, which I, I don't remember if we have this as a pop-up on this page or not. I know that, the design that I did, she made way better, but I don't remember, I don't know if she changed anything about it. So uh, basically when you get down here uh, mm -hmm. to this part where you're breaking down the different options, you do have the ability to actually set up and collect payments on this okay. page itself using the form, right? You could bypass that page that we set up today that looks like your Kajabi one completely if you wanted to. So there could be the paid in full, it's 249, there's no coupon code. Um, and then here's, um, you know, the 20% the off, the code is webinar, they pay 214 or whatever that is. And, um, and then they would actually see those on this page. And then you would be adding them to your vault, right? When they make that purchase. Um, and so instead of using the checkout page, you could put that there. Other alt alternative option, and this would be particularly relevant to anyone here who has a multi-part payment um, or a payment plan uh, or a recurring payment of any kind, you're going to wanna use the page like the one that we created initially here today, um, where she had the vault checkout page. Uh, and then in these buttons, instead of going to lead where it pops up, you would actually just paste in the link to go over there and check out, right? So that would actually be how you go about using both the vault checkout page 
as well as um, a sales page like this one. So just depending on what you're selling, um, that that can be a useful thing um, to do. So like for, for instance, if this is, um, if I'm selling a program here and um, it is uh, $300 a month for seven months, uh, then that is something that I'm gonna set up in a vault and I'm not gonna collect payment on this page. I'm gonna send them to the vault because it's a recurring payment. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Awesome. So any other questions from you or, I mean, I know that like specifically designing a new page and working on sales pages together, like that's definitely something that we can look at, um, you know, like on a future call, but I mean, are there any other questions regarding migration that you might want to chat about? Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's the big thing. I really appreciate you, um, taking the time to, to do that with me. Is there any way I could get those um, pages that you created? So they are actually in your account, right? So that oh, uh, solid in the saddle homepage is here that, that you started. Um, home from Kajabi is the one that I've just created. Um, and it is, it's the partially built skeleton for you. So, it, you know, maybe another you know, 30 minutes tops, you can have this whole thing finished. Um, and, and then you have the same page essentially that you had on Kajabi. Uh, and then the other thing that we created is that vault checkout page. So under your member area right here, if you go to the payments tab, um, then it is this one right here. And when you're signed in as yourself, you're not going to see it, but if you copy this, uh, and you open it in a private browser window, then you'll be able to see exactly what others will see. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Happy you could come out. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really excited about Attractwell and i um, just so grateful that I found you guys. Awesome. Well, we're glad to have you here. Look forward to more where this came from. All right, you guys, thank you for sticking around. If you have any additional questions, feel free to pop those in really quick here. Um, I know this is kind of a lot to uh, to take in, but the, the gist is very simple, right? Get all of the stuff that you know you need to bring. So it's, it's just like moving, right? First, you need to pack, right? And you pack in categories. And what you're going to pack for your website, and hi, I'm still here. What you're going to pack for your website is first your pictures, right? So this is the decorations on the wall. Uh, and then you're going to pack uh, the most critical stuff, which is the words, uh, and copy all of those. Um, or you can grab them in screenshots. Obviously, if you are if you are paying for two platforms concurrently, certainly you know want you to do that for as little time as possible. That's why you might want to do this in stages. Um, if you have the ability to see both side by side, like we did with Alicia's today, then that's obviously going to be advantageous because you can replicate function on a live site as much as possible. Hey, Selena, I see your hand up. Did you have a question? Yes. Okay. I'm going to bring you out to chat. Feel free. Um, can't hear you yet, though. <laughs> oh, great. Because I don't know what happened to my mute button. Uh, thank okay. you. I am wanting to um, conduct a webinar real quick. I do want to convert over, but time is not on my side because my VA uh, quit, sort of. And um, I want to do a webinar and I'm not really feeling um, how to do it with the way the Zoom is in the system. Because what I'm reading, I think I can only have 10 Zoom clients. Is that right? So that's, so the, I... that's how it is set up initially. Uh, but if you need, even if it's for a brief period of time to expand that number, maybe temporarily, mm -hmm. uh, just mm -hmm. send an email to our team. It's very, very reasonable to just add on what you need for now and then just move it back to what it was. So if you typically don't need more than 10 people, but you anticipate needing 200 or, you know, you're emailing invitations to a list of 200, then, you know, for, for that month, then you've got, you know, 200 people can be on your Zoom. Uh, and then you can just go back to it's it just be like a minor add on. And I mean, like less than lunch. <laughs> OK, I'm just yeah. wondering, I pay for the full pro version now. So then at some point I can just get off of that version and I'm on it with you all. Is that how it works? So um, the only so, OK, there are some things that so we have like a Zoom enterprise. Uh, level, right? So it's going to be slightly different in terms of some of the bells and whistles. But generally speaking, if you're going to have meetings, 
all the way up to having things like breakout rooms, like all of that is included in the Zoom. You can stream from our Zoom out to you know okay. your Facebook and YouTube, et cetera. So if it is Zoom meetings that you are replacing, then you are getting, I think, a really close to a one-to-one -one, uh, and okay. inclusive with Attract12. Well. Yeah, if it is Zoom webinars, which is like what we're actually using right now, that is a different product from Zoom. But it, honestly, it's not something that most people need. We send emails out yeah. to tens of thousands of people a week, inviting them to come to these calls. And that is like, that's a point at which you maybe don't want to be using meetings. Right. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. No, the second question just dawned on me as we were talking about it. But the first question is accurate. I do want to hold a women webinar and I don't know how many people I will attract. Okay. Well, I hope you attract many. And so uh, yeah. think of your goal number and just reach out to our team and say for, for these dates, um, I would like to have, you know, my webinar or my, my meeting uh, capacity expanded and our team can help you with that quickly. Sounds good. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. All right. Thank you guys for sticking around and for being amazing. We are always just so blessed and happy to be with you and to help you get more done with all of the amazing things that you are doing in the world. Um, there's one more question here. Uh, is there a way to transfer over my current Zoom ID room number to this account? Unfortunately, I'm not sure. Greg, do you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I know. Actually, I think there's a help article on it. Um, if you want to search for that too, I think they, they call it what PMI, the personal meeting ID. What you have to do is in your paid Zoom account, go change the number to a different number um, because they can only have one number per account in their whole system. Change it to a different number, email us with the number that you want and we'll add it to your account. And then I'll oh my gosh, over. That's easier mm -hmm. than porting a phone number and you can do it. That's great. Well, there you go, Lynn. <laughs> you now know and so do I. Awesome, we'll be back same time next week, you guys. I hope you have a great week. I hope that you get a lot done with your migration projects and let's have another call, you know, sometime here in the near future where we work on fine tweaking and moving, like, so you move everything over, you got all the boxes in the house. That's what we did uh, today with the transfer of literal content to literal content from Kajabi to attract well. Uh, but, you know, we can certainly have more calls in the future where we talk about turning this into your dream house that maybe you couldn't have on those other platforms. We we can do that here. Uh, so look forward to seeing you guys in the Facebook group and of course back here next week. Have a great week, everybody.